friends. Today is Thursday. Ready for your journal page. This was our last journal page. So sad. So instead of journals from starting on Monday, we will do some different writing activities instead of our journals. So this is our last journal page. So let's make it good. Okay, circle. Our month is April. Today is April 30th. A three and a zero. Our year is 2020. And if we were writing our date with just numbers, we would write 4, 30, 20. Today is Thursday. Remember, TH makes the sound TH. So go ahead and write Thursday. Uppercase T. Lowercase for the rest of the letters. Thursday. So, if you need to stop the video, you can. The next thing we're going to do, it says, change one or more letters to make the new word. So, the first one right here says, man. Man, M-A-N. This is a picture of a map. So if we were going to change man to map, what would we do? M-A-P. Go ahead and write it. See if you wrote the same letters as I did. Map. Ready? Map. We can change man to map by changing the N to a P. The next one is a picture of a faucet, and it is dripping. So we're going to write the word drip, drip. So what would we do to write drip? D Er, I, p, drip. Write that word. Dr, ip. Yes, you could write drop too. D, I, R, P. Okay, the last one is tape. Tape. There's three sounds in tape, t, a, p, and there's a letter at the end that we call a silent letter sometimes, tape. See if you can write tape. Okay, t, a, p, e. The e is silent in the word tape. Now we're going to use one or two of those words and we're going to write them in a sentence. So you can choose to use your own sentence or you can write the one that Mrs. Hoffman is going to write. I'm going to write, I see the map. You need to use a map when you're traveling. I see the map. So if you're writing my sentence, uppercase I, I, then finger space, our next word is C. I'm not going to show you. I want to see if you can do it all by yourself. I, C, S, E. I, C, finger space, the, that's one of our sight words. I see the map, and we have map already written for us, and I'm going to put a period at the end. Okay, when I hold mine up, see if you did it like I did. I see the map. Good. If you did your own sentence, you can stop if you're not done yet. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is practice writing the number 23. Remember to do a finger space each time you make a new 23. 
When you're writing, make sure you're starting at the top line and going all the way down to the bottom line. You're getting ready for first grade, and when you're in first grade, you're going to have lots of papers where you will have a top line, a bottom line, and a dotted line. And you need to remember to use most of the numbers and letters will start at the top line. Some of them don't, but most of them do. Okay, the next one, we are going to use our base 10 blocks to show the number 23. So, remember when we talk about, we can call these a base 10, we can call them a 10 group. So we know there's 10 there, we don't need to count them. So we're going to make the number 23 with our blocks of the 10 group and some more ones. So think of counting by tens. So I'm going to color the first one and I'm going to say 10. Then I'm going to color the second one and I'm counting by tens and I say 20. So 10, 20. Now I need some more ones to make the number 23. So I'm going to color one block is 21. I keep counting. 22 and 23. Now I have used my 10 group and the ones to show the number 23. Okay, then here's a story problem. You've been doing lots of story problems lately. Story problems are really good for math. Do you know why? It helps us think about things that happen in our world. So if your mom said, I need you to get three forks and three knives so you you can think about hmm how many would I have all together if I have three forks and three knives how many would I have all together or if you have six people in your family and you need to set the table for them you have to remember how many you need of each one or sometimes if you spend some money, if you have one dollar and you spend some money and you want to know how much you would have left, that's a subtraction problem. So we want to think about math as a way to think about things in our world. So this one says there were eight crabs on the beach. So I'm going to circle my number eight because I know that's important. There were eight crabs on the beach. Then four more crabs came. So I'm going to circle my number four because I know that that's important. So there were eight and then four more came. How many crabs were there in all? Are we going to add the crabs or are we going to subtract? When you hear how many in all or how many all together, that means you're going to add. So first I'm going to draw my eight crabs. Am I going to draw crabs or circles? Circles. So Mrs. Hoffman likes to do them in different places. You can do them however you would like, but I like to do the circles in different places so I don't get mixed up. So there's my eight crabs. And then four more crabs came. There's four more. And then I want to know how many all together. So I'm going to count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I want to make sure that I have eight. And then I'm going to keep counting. So there's eight and I'm going to keep counting. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve. How many crabs were there all together? There were twelve. So I'm going to write the number twelve right there. If we wanted to make an equation, we would write 8 plus 4 equals 12. So we can write our equation too. Go ahead and write the equation. If you need to stop the video, you can. Okay, for your last sentences, you get to write about, looks like some animals today. This word says hamsters. This word says parrots. This word says fish, this word says kittens, and this one says puppies. 
So you can use as many of these words as you would like. I want you to write two sentences today using those words. Remember, you're using a capital letter at the beginning, finger spaces. If you don't know how to write a word, you're going to write down the sounds that you hear. You're going to put a period at the end, and you're going to draw a picture. That's our last journal page. I'm so proud of you for working so hard on your journal pages. I can tell you're getting ready for first grade. Good job, my friends.